The Jack Benny program. In a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. L-S-M-F-T. 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 Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So for your own real deep down smoking enjoyment, smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. At 49, American. Excuse me, this is Kenny Delmar. Excuse me, I have a special announcement to make. Herbert Tides and cigarettes are back. Good news for those who prefer a cork tip cigarette. Herbert Tides is back, and there's something about them you like. Herbert Tides is back after being made only for the armed forces. Yes. Herbert Tyden is back. That cork tip cigarette, Herbert Tyden, available now for you. Yes, Herbert Tyden is back. And remember, there's something about them you like. There's something about them you like. This is Kenny Delmar. I trust you will welcome home Herbert Tyden. There's something about them you like. <laughs> Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today, March 17th, is St. Patrick's Day. As you all know, St. Patrick drove the snakes out of Ireland. So today, we bring you a man who was run out of Waukegan, Jack Benny. Thank you, you said man there, anyway. Thank you, thank you. Hello again, this is Jack Benny talking. And Don, for your information, I wasn't run out of Waukegan. It was merely a request by the city fathers and mine. <laughs> and being a sharp guy, I took the hint and two shirts and left. But well, let's not talk about me after all. This is St. Benny's, I mean, St. Patrick's Day. That's why I'm wearing this shamrock in my lapel. Shamrock? Yes. That's a moth that took a bite out of that $12 suit and turned green. Harry, right, don't be funny. This is a very good suit. Taste it. I mean, feel it. Anyway, why aren't you wearing something green today? I am wearing something green. See? Oh, yes, yes. What is it? It's that gold bracelet you gave me for Christmas. <laughs> Mary, that's an old joke. All I know is I polish my other bracelets. This one, the gardener takes care of. Well, that's appreciation for after all, Mary. It wasn't easy to get that bracelet. I spent over three hours at that claw machine. And now, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> good. I didn't know it was going to be that good. I'm going to say that. St. Jackson. What? You're talking about St. Patrick's Day. Did I ever tell you the one about that friend of mine who got an Irish car? An Irish car? Yeah, every time you blow the horn, it plays Ireland must be heaven because my motor came from there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harris, you're the Barry Fitzgerald of the Bobby Sox. <laughs> now pull out your garters and get out of here, will you? Put on your garters, right? You always try to run Say, one Jack, to what? Jack, since this is St. Patrick's Day, don't you think we ought to do this a This program play is for starting our... out like we had no rehearsals at all. <laughs> You want to know something? We did it. <laughs> Everybody walks in any time they want to. Hey, Jackson, they holler. What is it? Go ahead, what is well, it? Well, Jack, this being St. Patrick's Day, don't you think we ought to do a little play for our Irish listeners? Well, we're doing better than that, Don. Tonight, for the first time since his release from the Navy, Dennis Day, the smiling Irish songbird, will be back with us. Oh, so the kid's coming back, huh, Jackson? Yep. Gosh, Jack, Dennis has been gone for two years. I'll bet the Navy has changed him a lot. I'll bet it has to. Anyway, he ought to be here by now. I think I'll call his house and see what's keeping him. Say, Mabel, what is it, Gatesville? <laughs> Mr. Benny's line is flashing. Yeah, I wonder what Bloomer Girl wants now. <laughs> I'll find out. Hello, Mr. Benny. Huh? Dennis Day? What's his number? Okay, I'll call you back when I get him. Say, Mabel, did you hear Mr. Benny's program last week? Yeah, Ray Moline was on it. Gosh, he's wonderful, even if he is the Lost Weekend. <laughs> Listen, Mabel, if you think Milan is the Lost Weekend, you should have a date with Benny. <laughs> Those are my sentiments. 
performance, exactly. You want to know something, Guy Jones? What? The contest has been over for six weeks, and I still can't stand them. <laughs> yeah. You know, Mabel, two weeks ago, he asked me to go to the Academy Award ceremonies, but I had another date. Gee, Guy said, how come Mr. Benny always asks you to all those swanky affairs? Well, why shouldn't he? After all, my mother gave him the best years of her life. <laughs> going out on a date with Mr. Benny, but he's a sneaky type. <laughs> sneaky? Yeah, he's the kind who lures an unsuspecting girl into his car, drives her out to a dark spot, pretends he's out of gear, stops the car, and then spends the next two hours talking about his picture. <laughs> it's enough to discourage a person, believe me. <laughs> Mabel, I got a confession to make. Once I let Mr. Benny kiss me, why, go to a gear shift. <laughs> Say, uh, tell me, go to, what are his kisses like? Well, it's like when you're blowing bubble gum and the bubble collapses against your face. <laughs> I'd rather have the gum. <laughs> yeah. See, Dennis Day's number doesn't answer. I'd better tell Blue Eyes about it. Hello? Oh, we'll try him again later, Gertrude. Goodbye. Oh, say, Gertrude, uh, what are you doing tonight? Tomorrow night? Tuesday night? <laughs> Wednesday night? Thursday night? Christmas Eve? <laughs> oh, you're, you're going to visit your mother. Well, don't be surprised when you walk in. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, we might as well get on with the show till Dennis gets here. Come on, Phil, let's have a band number. <laughs> Played by Phil Harris and his Hour of Harm Orchestra. <laughs> hey, Phil, you know, this is a battery day. Why don't you do something for the occasion? Something Irish. I did. I put a harp in my band. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You got a girl playing it. See, you know, her fingers must get calloused and sore plucking on all those strings. Well, it's her own fault, Jackson. She forgot the bow, so let her do the best she can. <laughs> She's our orchestra leader for 10 years now. <laughs> Phil, you don't use it. Come in. I beg your pardon, but hello again. Dennis! Dennis! Well, Dennis. 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 Well, welcome back, kid. Welcome back. Gee, it's good to see you. Gosh, Mary, doesn't he look wonderful? Oh, he sure does. Oh, boy, I never expected this. Are you going to kiss me, too, Miss Livingston? <laughs> I certainly, Dennis. Doggone, Dennis, I can't get over. You look so mature. You've changed, though. Well, sure he's changed, Jackson. This kid's been in the Navy for two years. He's grown up. Yeah, up. <laughs> hmm. uh, Dennis, tell us about yourself. 
out. Did you enjoy your two years in the Navy? I sure did, Miss Livingston. The Navy's wonderful. I went all over the South Pacific, and I saw plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you did, kid. <laughs> Say, I bet you had a lot of fun, too. Say, Dennis. Dennis, I've been wanting to ask you something. Uh, tell me, kid, uh, how about those waves? That's what made me seasick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah grown, grown up. up, yeah. <laughs> you know, Dennis, I was all over the South Pacific, too, and I ran into some pretty rough seas. In fact, once I was tossed overboard. Oh, I was tossed overboard lots of times. You were? Yeah, but the captain made the fellows cut it out. <laughs> Dennis, the boys kept throwing you overboard. That's terrible. Oh, it wasn't so bad. The Japs kept throwing me back. <laughs> he was a pickle in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Say, Dennis, when you first joined the Navy, how did they know how to classify you? I mean, how did they know what rank to give you? Oh, that was easy, Miss Livingston. First, I had to fill out a lot of forms, answer a lot of questions, and then for two days, they gave me a written test. For two days? See, that must have been quite a test. And after it was all over, they made me an ensign. An ensign? <laughs> an ensign? Yeah. I wonder what they'd have made me if I'd have passed. <laughs> Maybe it's just as well you didn't. We won the war this way, you know? <laughs> well, Dennis, we're all anxious to hear you sing again. How about it? Well, gee, Mr. Benny, I don't know why you want me to do a song. You've already got two singers. Two singers? What are you talking about, kid? You know, those two fellas, fellas who sing... Oh, oh, them, them. Well, Dennis, they're not exactly singers. See, they're tobacco auctioneers. Oh. You see, we've changed sponsors. We changed sponsors after you left. Uh, tell them about it, Don. Okay. Now, uh, Dennis, you studied Morse code in the Navy, didn't you? Yes, sir. All right, now, now listen to this. Tick, 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 tick. What does that mean? Tick, 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 tick. Yes, tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. Wait, what are you two tick ticking about? I don't know about him, but I've got a loose tooth. Oh, Dennis. Tick, 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 tick stands for LSMFT. Oh. Now, uh, what does LSMFT stand for? Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> no, 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 Dennis, look at LSMFT stands for Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. Oh. Yes. And not only that, Lucky Strikes are made of the finer, the lighter, the naturally milder tobacco. And that, Dennis, is the whole story. Oh, boy, I hope they make a picture out of it. <laughs> yeah, starring Sonny Pup. <laughs> well, come on, Dennis. We all want to hear a song. What's it going to be? Well, since today is St. Patrick's Day, I thought I'd sing Danny Boy. Well, that's swell. Go sure. Go right ahead. Ah! 
and I shall hear the thoughts you tread above me, and all my grave will warm with a beam, for you will bend and tell me that you love me, and I shall sleep in peace until by Dennis Day. And now... Say, Mr. Benny, I meant to ask you, how's Mr. Allen? Who? Fred Allen. Well, kid, it was nice <laughs> seeing you again. <laughs> no, no, Phil. In fact, I'm glad he brought it up. Dennis, I'm happy to tell you that Fred Allen has the same old program, the same old jokes, the same oh, old... Oh, wait a minute, Jack. That's not fair. I've heard all of Fred's programs, and they've been very funny. They yeah, have. Mary, I wouldn't mind if his jokes just laid there but they crawl out of the radio and stain your rug. <laughs> Some program. That just shows what you know, Jackson. I think the funniest thing in radio is Alan's Alley. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah. I think so, too. Oh, you do, eh? I think so, too. Oh, you do, eh? I think Mr. Benny is much funnier than Mr. Allen. I think so, too. <laughs> oh, you do, eh? <laughs> Yes, I do. And, that, and, what, and what's so great about Alan's Alley? Anybody with half an ounce of talent can do that. Oh, yeah? I'd like to see you do it. Well, I'll just show you, sister. Phil, get your band ready while I put this clothespin on my nose so I'll sound like Fred Allen. Now, I'll go down to the alley, and you kids will play the parts of the people that live there. Okay, Phil, music. <laughs> So, Kenny Delmar, I won't say it's been very windy, but last oh, night... Mr. Allen! Mr. Allen! Well, well, if it isn't Cleveland. <laughs> Gee, well. Cleveland, Kenny Delmar and I were just discussing the high wind we've been having here. Well, Mama says that all the wind is caused by the pickets. The pickets? <laughs> because the lamb chops look better in their panties than she does in slacks. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You write this stuff on Thursday, and then on Sunday, nothing happens. <laughs> what was that, Cleveland? Oh, Mama doesn't wear slacks anymore. She doesn't? Why did she stop wearing slacks? A policeman gave her a ticket for pulling a trailer without a license. <laughs> well, so much for your mother and her homegrown bus. We've got to get down to Benny's Boulevard. Uh, what is your question for tonight? Our question is, is Fred Allen or Jack Benny the better comedian? Shall we leave? As one of my eyes said to the other, let's pack our bags and go. <laughs> well, I see Senator Harris is home. There's a 10-gallon hat and a 5-gallon jug on the porch. Let's knock on the bunghole and see what he's got to say. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. Yes, I... Harris is the name. Senator Harris, that is. I'm from the West. From the West, When eh? I'm east of the Mississippi River, I'm in enemy territory. <laughs> I hate the East. My 
favorite actress is Mae West. Look. No look. man living can make me go see East Slim. Oh, I, I never go out of the house on Easter Sunday. Senator. When oh. I bake bread, I won't use eat. That's ye. I thought you'd get a rise out of it. <laughs>
suppose Mr. Kitzel's life would be complete if people could just make up their minds where they want the mustard. Well, here's the last house in the alley. I wonder what a knock here will bring. Greetings, all. It's time for play for Rogers here with Rondelay. <laughs> have more poems for us tonight. Oh, indubitably. Have you heard that the rum to the gin, I understand you're going steady with Ray Land? <laughs> no. Oh, I said to myself, this is not for me, as I picked up the dice and threw a three. <laughs> no. Oh, my mother has rolled her stockings down since she heard Van Johnson is back in town. Van <laughs> Johnson! Tonight we are trying to find out who is the better comedian, Fred Allen or Jack Benny. Precisely why I'm here. I have written a poem. And what is your... (laughs) 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 And what... Wait till I get this on point. And what is your comedian's poem called? Allen or Benny. How does it go? Allen or Benny. The question rings, and the nation is put to a test. From city to hamlet, you hear the cry, is Alan or Benny best? Alan has bags and Benny is cheap, and they're both on Sunday night. So millions of people from coast to coast tune in to hear them fight. And I often wonder just what it means as they hurl their epitaphs. For while they're knocking each other out, Cass Daly gets all the laughs. <laughs> well, I never thought of that. Rochester Openshaw. And now Phil Harris and his No Goodman Orchestra will play <laughs> onesie twosie because that's as high as they can count. Take it, boys. <laughs> back in just a minute, but first, here is my good friend, L.A. Speed Rakes. In a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts, and Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Yes, sir. L-S-M-F-T. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. At market after market, Lucky Strike consistently selects and buys fine, light, naturally mild tobacco. This fine Lucky Strike tobacco means real deep-down smoking enjoyment for you. So smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. The famous tobacco auctioneers heard on tonight's programmer, Mr. L.A. Speed Riggs of Goldsboro, North Carolina. And Mr. F.E. Boone of Lexington, Kentucky. At 49, American. This is Basil Risedale speaking for Lucky Strike. L-S-M-F-T, L-S-M-F-T, L-S-M-F-T. In a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. Oh, Dennis, Dennis. Howdy, bub. We're through with that. (laughs) Oh, Dennis, I just wanted to tell you that we're all very happy to have you back with us again. I'm glad to be back, Mr. Benny, and I want to thank Larry Stevens for doing such a swell job on the show while I was away. Well, we all feel the same way, Dennis. Good night, folks. Yeah, night. Hmm. Broadcasting Company. F.I. Los Angeles, Earl C. Anthony Incorporated. Next time, try Zuni, a new nail polish created to give fingertips a more lasting beauty. Insist on a Zuni manicure at your favorite beauty salon. You'll like the texture of Zuni, spelled Z-U-N-I.
Here's the Chapel Quartet at 10.15. 